This car was a fishing car that this guy had used for nearly 40 years. He brought the car to Florida, had it down here in storage for a number of years. Many years ago, we restored this car all back to original. Uh, using the motor that was in it and most of the parts. It wasn't necessarily the most attractive car. It was turquoise and blue and it was a 64 Impala wagon. He came to us and he said, you know, I really want to do something else with that wagon, but I'd like to create uh, a street rod of some type. So we sat down with the customer, we came up with a design concept for it, and we turned it into, uh, you know, one of the finest 64 Impala wagon street rods in the country. With this one, you've got some of the finest components, a 383 stroker motor. We did a complete custom interior, custom dash to it, back lighting. It's got a world-class sound system to it. The car underneath is finished exactly as the car is above. We mounted in the spare tire well uh, the amp for the car hid the speakers, uh, molded them, the front ones then, into the side panels, and then backlit this side over here where the speakers were mounted at. So at night, it lights the back lights up. Sometimes uh, these cars take an evolution through a customer's vision that we had not thought of at the time, and it ends up being a far superior product than the product that we originally designed. And when we look at a vehicle, we try to look at every detail, as we had spoke about with the Trans Am and with this one, realizing that the customer wanted something that was custom, uh, but he wanted it to be subtle. So when we designed the interior, we customized the dash, steering column, and a lot of the accessories are here, but we still kept a lot of the originality to it. We added air conditioning to it. We kept something close to what the original interior was, but we gave it a little more of a custom look with some of the billet uh, handles and so forth, and also with the armrest and the finish on the interior. So this was one of those instances where a car that had been in the family for 40 years had made numerous transformations. I would assume this is probably the last transformation for this car, and this car will probably be passed down within the family for a number of years. This one probably will be on the show circuit, and one of those that's taken out occasionally. But again, this is somebody else's dream and passion that we were fortunate enough to become a part of.